Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkin Verse. Super excited today, something brand new. It's time to upgrade my Windows X1 Fold to Windows 11. Okay, so the X1 Fold, it seems like the perfect device uh, for Windows 11. I checked uh, the update, it says this win this PC can run Windows 11, but when I run the check for updates, it doesn't automatically uh, go there. So I went to the um, installation assistant website, and it said, "Hey, this thing's ready." Uh, click the button to get started. So I clicked the button, opened the file, said yes, and it brought up the compatibility thing, which means. I'm ready to click accept and install and let's get this thing upgraded to Windows 11. So one last chance to take a look at this in um, Windows 10 mode before we do the upgrade. You notice uh, we're, we have a uh, start menu over here. We've got the small icons here. I think it's all going to change. It's going to center in the middle. I'm really curious to see how the folding works uh, with the new Windows 11 with the keyboard, uh, how that's going to work. So let me go offline, do the accept and install, come back and give us a quick tour of the Lenovo X1 Fold with Windows 11, hopefully. We'll see. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Windows 11 on uh, Lenovo X1 Fold uh, Gen 1. Uh, been testing it for about a week, and I'm anxious to show you guys what I learned, some of the cool new stuff, and let's just take a little tour of Windows 11 on my X1 Fold. So here it is, uh, X1 Fold, for you who aren't familiar, the uh, party trick of it, of course, is the folding capability. So you can take it like this. It's got a little stand on the back, fold the stand closed, and it can turn into a uh, folding laptop, which is amazing. Uh, it has a keyboard that snaps into place here has a pen which you can store here in the keyboard. It charges the keyboard when it's closed. So it's super cool, small, uh, easy to carry around. It's great ports. Um, one of our uh, cutting edge devices, of course, obviously, uh, with the uh, folding screen. Uh, but I seem like a great fit to test out Windows 11. So let's uh, pop the stand back open, uh, turn it on, and let's uh, take a look. So. The keyboard obviously it can be a uh, can magnet on the bottom half and then just use the top half of the screen like I was showing before like this, which is one way to use it and uh, you know on your lap on a plane or whatever is fantastic for that. Or if you're sitting at a desk and you want kind of a normal um, size laptop, you just pop open that, use the screen, use the keyboard like this in Bluetooth mode, and we can uh, let's go in. So I uh, it's touch screen of course you can hit that to join in. Here's that's the new uh, Windows lock screen. Um, I'll lock it again just so you can see. Uh, looks pretty similar to Windows 10, but the fonts and everything are a little bit more modern. Hopefully you can see that right away. Uh, see the font is a little bit different than uh, Windows 10. Then when you log in, it's much uh, cleaner looking interface in general. Uh, it's got this, um, the start bar is obviously down here in the middle sort of in this task manager here, and then all your open applications are listed here. So you can open those up. If you close them, then they disappear. Um, but let's talk about some of the cool things I found right away that I, that I really like. So um, I like the uh, search capability here. A little bit easier to use. I like the way it displays the applications better than the big tiles that you had on Windows 10. Uh, when you open up, um, uh, something you can either search for it or type it in. I'll just type in, um, let's look for notepad. So, note, oops, <laughs> let's try that again. Type here, notepad. Let's see if you can read my scribbles. Notepad, there we go. So, uh, let's open that up. There you go. Looks very similar. Uh, another one is, of course, um, MSP 
paint, P-A-I-N-T. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. Uh, found it, but paint. There we go. Open paint. Okay, open. It looks a little bit different. Some new features in there. Uh, but I want to get a few apps open so I can show you one of my favorite features of it is that if you hover over this... Um, this icon in the corner which is usually kind of the minimize you get all these different options make sure you can see that for how you want the windows to expand so if i choose this uh you know side by side you had that in windows and then you choose what app you want on the other side we had that in windows 10 but it wasn't nearly as elegant as it is now when you have the hover mode so um you hover again over here and you get the four options for how you want the thing set up choose that choose the one you want and there it goes so it goes into these different modes which is pretty slick i really like the way that works uh lenovo built their own kind of capability for that which is this um down here icon that allows you to kind of set how you want the screen set up one and two so you can split the screens that way two different screens uh i kind of like the hover thing with the windows a little bit better and then there's even another feature down here for desktops. Um, if you want more than one desktop, you can choose this. And then it creates a whole new desktop. You know, and then you can um, swipe side to side when the desktops are open. Um, uh, let's see, then you can open up to another desktop. Let's try that. And see, this is a different one. Pretty cool, too. Uh, another thing I'd be remiss uh, not to talk about is uh, the um, uh, Nova Bench test I did. So this was interesting. So before, um, I might be on the wrong desktop here. Oh, here it goes. Before, um, on Windows 10, I ran the Nova Bench five days ago, as you can see. And then I upgraded to a Windows 11. And as soon as I ran it again... With Windows 11, the Nova Bench test increased from 841 up to 1115. I'll just click start on that again just to watch it. It's not plugged in, so it might not do as well as the Nova Bench test did last time. But uh, I've been reading a little bit about that. It seems like um, the Intel processors, especially, are really performing a little bit better uh, on Windows 11 than they were on Windows 10. So I'll be curious. Uh, maybe you guys can comment. Um, if you, anybody else has upgraded Windows 11 or what you're seeing, but see how it's improving your uh, benchmark testing by moving to Windows 11. Um, there's quite a few more features built into Windows 11. A lot of the security, uh, the way it um, manages um, hacking and that kind of stuff in the background. That's why it requires the new TPM uh, 2.0 chips. So a lot of the new, um, a lot of the, not quite so new desktops, I should say, that um, don't have t TPM 2.0 won't uh, won't work and aren't supported. So if you go check your capability of running uh, Windows 11, that's probably going to be a big reason. If it's not um, if it's not supported, is because it doesn't have the new TPM. Uh, that's something in the BIOS trusted platform, um, so it can do security a lot better. So you need that. Um, I found it very easy to make the move from Windows 10. All the apps that I've been using work fine uh, on Windows 11, smoother, better. I don't see any reason uh, not to. Of course, it's always a risk to kind of be a, a first in line. Um, you, they're still releasing patches all the time to improve it. But so far for me, it's been uh, been really great. So, oh, I just finished that test. So let's take a look at that. Um, let's see, let's see if we can focus here. Um, but let's see, we can see here in a second. I don't know why it's taking forever to focus. But yeah, it just finished with a uh, 1152, which for this processor, the um, Intel i5 uh, 11 16 G7 there, that's a really good score, much better than on Windows 10. Uh, so that's really great. I'm glad that the CPU is performing a lot better uh, with Windows 11. So something for us to keep our eye out on. So. I think with that, I'll just uh, wrap up. Hope everybody enjoyed this quick tour of the Lenovo um, X1 Fold with Windows 11. Let's do one more time with the party trick. <laughs> Fold that screen. It's crazy. I really love it. Snap on the keyboard. Good to go. So thanks for watching, everybody. Check you out next time. Bye.